Yo, what is going on guys? It is Trix and we are back with a brand new video. It's going to be a long video. I try to make it short, but today we're going to talk about two things, Roblox and then Arsenal. So I don't know if you guys heard about the new updates for Roblox that are coming um, soon. Um, there's a lot of big things like less chat filtering, uh, official anti-cheat for Roblox. That's, that's actually huge. If they're able to do it, you know, correctly, older players can swear now. Now I don't have to be a pg-13 youtuber i can say whatever i want yeah i don't know all the details but i saw a couple tweets and they were actually from actual sources if you guys want to look more into that i'm sure you could search it up whatever but anyways let's talk about arsenal so recently one of the devs midnight crystal uh tweeted asking content creators for arsenal what can they do to make arsenal just enjoyable like what updates what what opinions do we have that we think could make arsenal a better game so this is what i tweeted back i said look we need a battle pass that's one battle passes are pretty much obvious to add into your game if you want to have consistent content and things to you know go for um game winning kill cams that's just something for me you know something for the trick shot community but i feel like in the end it could add just there's a lot of cool things that you could do with game winning kill cams it could be like funny kill cams whatever but i feel like game winning kill cams could be a really nice feature that you know they add into the game voice chats okay so voice chat i know a lot of you guys are gonna have a ton of different opinions but if one of your opinions is the fact that you're gonna hear squeakers and kids screaming and this and that bro there's a mute there's a mute option i mean at least there should be or disable voice chat like it's not that hard but i think there should be voice chat because that's like the one thing like when you look back at old games like call of duty like like modern warfare 2 and you know, just the old games back then, voice chat was so huge. All the funny things happened when voice chat was in a game. And I feel like that's what we're missing. Like, tired of having to type. I, I would love to hear when I run into my fans, like, oh my God, tricks, is that really you? Like, that's what we want. Like, and that also brings content. Like, I just feel like they need to add voice. Now, this is a big one. It's collabing with creators for like codes or events, right? Like, They've done some cool events. I'm not going to lie. I recently, it's the first event I've done. It's the Dev Melee one. I think that one was pretty cool. Um, but I feel like they should collab with creators. Like maybe there should be like a community manager for them that helps get in contact with creators for their game because that's so huge having communication between the devs and the creators and they can collab on different things, right? Like for example, what would be cool is since I'm about to hit 100K, Maybe they could, you know, hit me up and be like, hey, you want to do like a Trix 100K code and they can possibly unlock like a scan or character scan or a melee. Like that would be something cool to interact with the community. Now, this is a huge thing. I get this question asked a lot. Yo, Trix, why aren't you streaming Arsenal? Like stream Arsenal more, blah, blah, blah. Bro, I can't stream Arsenal. I'm getting stream snipe. Like this happened in the past. And like, guys, like stream sniping is actually just disgusting. I mean, I hope none of you guys are doing this. I feel like creators, they will start a private server. Like if I wanted to do like a subscriber game or play with my viewers, I would make a private server and just give you guys the server link, right? But like if I'm just chilling and, you know, wanting to play and just going going for trick shots by myself or whatever, I don't want everybody joining my server because like that just means more like people are just going to be sweating just to win against you, instead of you just getting into a random game with nobody really knowing you and playing the game. That's what, how I look at it. Right? So I think they should remove the server thing on the top, right? Where it shows what location and whatever, and that would help out a lot and me, maybe even more, um, other ways to prevent stream sniping. So this one is pretty obvious too. challenges daily, weekly. Um, it can be for skins or weapons, or uh, it can be for skins or characters. Uh, that just should be a thing. This one, I really want in Arsenal. More team-based style game modes. So what I mean by that is, you know how there's like red, blue team. You know, they split it up in two teams or whatever the game picks, right? The thing about that is they're giving no reward to the actual team itself. They just give it to the guy who gets the golden gun and wins the game, right? Which is cool and all, but I feel like that just, I don't know. I don't really like that. I feel like it should be like team-based as in, you know, red team, like team deathmatch, um, what I always thought is, you know, a search and destroy mode. So, you know, the, how they've made counter blocks. So imagine like a fast paced, bigger map search and destroy for Arsenal. That would be kind of cool. I'm not going to lie, but maybe that's just me, but they should come up with like a team based game modes where it doesn't just pop up the first and second and third place, um, 
people. Another thing I put, allow to queue for a specific game mode. So if I want to queue Railgun Pistols Competitive, let me check that and then click play. And that's the only game modes I could get, right? Like I feel like that would be a great thing because I don't want to get in like, you know, when Halloween comes, I don't want to get in Hakula 30 times because these kids are picking that like over competitive. And look, I get that. Maybe, you know, some people enjoy those type of game modes, but we should be able to pick like which ones we want not where the whole game gets to pick and then the last thing i put was more custom settings and private servers so i feel like they need to add more settings or you know this whole thing about like orange team you guys know like i had recently found out about that and i posted it in my videos and you know i told you guys hey let them know i should be on orange team um but i've heard nothing back so that's where like they should that's why i said they should have a community manager working with content creators and and not keeping it so like gatekeeping right like that just gives me just weird vibes all around i'm not saying oh i deserve to be on orange team but it would be nice to be acknowledged from the devs of a game that you're making content on right like that it's you know call of duty does it. a bunch of people do it and i've seen roblox games do it i've had roblox devs hit me up and want me to promote their game and you know give me skins and stuff like that like that would be nice if arsenal had that communication and these things have been on my mind because like i said i wouldn't play arsenal if i didn't think it had potential right now i'm not playing it because it's boring and you know they have made no updates we've been hearing about the arsenal reloaded coming out but we're now we're just waiting but i feel like i like seeing that the devs are tweeting stuff like that and getting motivated after what they heard about, you know, the Roblox updates that are coming. And we shall see if Arsenal Reloaded is going to be the game. Let's see if they listen to some of our ideas. And let's just pray that this game is good, man. Let me know what you guys think about my ideas. And then maybe post ideas down below. I'll be commenting back to you guys. You know, really looking out for the top ideas. And maybe even tweeting at them again. Uh, but yeah. Let me know if you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys later. Peace.